Welcome back, everybody. Um, I've been promising this video since, like, last year, and I finally have a few seconds where I'm gonna try and do this. Um, the problem is, is I made this whole thing, and then the sound didn't capture properly, so I'm hoping that this time it works. I gotta do it in pieces, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what we did, then we're gonna go back and look at the script on how I did it. I'm sorry, I'm doing this several times throughout the day, because I'm having maintenance over right now to fix something, and I'm just going to do it every time that they are that they have to step out for something. So anyways, what we're going to be looking at here is bars, like a life bar at the top here, as you can see. So we have LeVar and we have Zane up here. And uh, this is just a little thing I programmed, and I'm going to show you guys how I did it after we're done taking a look at it. So um, we can pounce or swat at... Zane. So let's swat at him. So you can see now that the life bar went down a little bit, right? And are we gonna hit him again? Dodge? Uh, let's try and hit him again. Oh. He got us. He got us pretty bad. Uh, let's dodge this time. Oh, he hit us again. Darn. Uh, hit him again? Can we hit him? Oh no, he got us. We failed. Uh, but you can kind of see how this works, and now we got to uh, the ending here, where he stands over us as the proud winner. So I'm going to show you guys how to do something like this if you wanted to have some sort of scene like this in the game. Um, the one thing I'm going to tell you right now is you have to have your own bars made up. Um, pick a spot on your screen um, that is the size that you want. If you have to, what I did is I did a screenshot, took an area of the screen that I wanted the bar to be in, and then I just made a bar out of that and then made the background transparent. And then whatever words you want to have in them, maybe you want words, maybe you don't want words, whatever. Um, you want to have one version that is the color of a full bar and one version that is the color of a not full bar, okay? Once you have that, then you're ready to go on to the next step. Unfortunately, I don't have anything showing you guys how to do that so that's why i want to explain that here before we step into the next part okay so that's what you'll need before we head into the next part as i talk over this uh thing here where we're talking about the bars and such um i'm just wanted to let you guys know that a few things were changed this is when i first was writing the script out and i was using it from another game that i have and uh the guy who's using the reference from another game that I made before in the past, and it doesn't quite fit this game here, so I did change a couple of things. So this is not 100% the script that you're going to want to use. It is the same idea. Um, the part where it has like the X, Y size and stuff like that, that is your size of your picture um, in pixels. So, and then your alignment, I did change the alignment from what it shows here, so, just so you guys know. Alright everyone, so we're back here, you guys probably recognize this setup that I got going here. Um, but this is the bars themselves, okay? So you're gonna have to make a whole new file, so you go up to new... Like, file, new, and then you have a blank, empty thing. You have to write your own part here, so it's screen, space, bars, with uh, open, parentheses, open parentheses, close parentheses, and uh, you guys can see, you could copy this script here if you want, pause and copy. Um, the name of the bar is the value for now. Uh, we'll get into this in a quick second afterwards, but... Yeah. Uh, left bar is, I believe, the full bar. So what it looks like when it's full. Let me take a quick peek on that. So left bar is what it looks like when it's full. Right bar is when it looks like when it's empty. So you want this to be the picture of what your bar looks like when it's empty. This to be the picture of what your bar looks like when it's full. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, location on the screen that I have it. I wanted to have it right up near the top. And it's. I took a while to try to figure out how to get it up near the top, but that's how. If you want yours right up by the top, like that. Um, I think that that's everything you need from this screen. So yeah, once you're done this, then you save it, and save it as bars 
script.rpy, which is the same as your script. And we're going to go, this is the script for the game that you guys have been seeing. We got, so we have a basic fight. Um, what else did I add? So I added point. Come on. So I just want to quickly say, because I, I forgot to put this in the actual video that I was doing. So I already uploaded the video. Now I got to re-upload this video and have this part added in. So I'm going to throw this in. But to get it to show the bars, I didn't say this, but I showed it. Uh, it says show screen bars. So then that will show at the spot where the bars show up. That's where it will happen, okay? And other than that, um, there is, I don't know if I have it in here. Okay, so once again, I'm going to talk over this part here. Um, as you guys can kind of see what's happening as I type out all this stuff. I'm not going for spelling or anything like that. So if you see like spelling errors and stuff, then eh, whatever. <laughs> uh, but as you can see, we can have, I have here that it has, it can pick between the two uh, fight starts. One of them it has where Lavar is going to get hit and then the other one's going to allow you to make a decision. Uh, first. So this is the first thing that's going to happen once we get into the fight, which you guys saw before. Uh, I believe it went to fight start two when we started this video. Um, but it could have went to where LeVar got hit right away. And he would lose 25 points. As you guys can see, the you can see Zane equals, right where I just highlighted a few minutes, seconds ago. Um, Zane equals minus... Uh, Minus equals and then the number Lavar uh, minus equals the number. Uh, if you wanted to make it so the life bar went up, maybe use like a healing potion or something like that. Then you could have um, the have a plus equals whatever number. Kind of like with any kind of points that we've done before, talking about those. Uh, as you saw, I just sort of did a, a area that we can send the script back to. So basically if uh, Zane is less than zero points or Lavar is less than zero points, you'll go to whatever thing. But if not, we're going to continue back and it will keep playing through each time. So I'm doing out the menus for this and this is a very simple thing. Um, I would say uh, like this is not probably how you would make your game. But because we're just doing a quick little thing here, it doesn't matter. And I have multiple different solutions. So even if you hit dodge, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get the same number each time or the same thing happen to you each time. Um, so that's kind of my little solution to making this very quick and easy is that it, there's no real exact answer for it each time you hit a menu choice of some kind, which is kind of neat. I didn't do it in my other games before, but I might do it in the future. Because, uh, like, if I'm just making a silly little game, it's kind of a fun way to do things. Um, that way, even the player can't really determine, oh, well, if I do this, this, and this each time, then I get it, you know? So this is just kind of a fun little way to make it where they can't just do that. Uh, as you can see, I just sort of copy and paste a lot of stuff just because it makes it a little quicker. But then i got to, of course, remember to go back up and change the labels because it says label one dodge for a bunch of them. you got to change that to label... Uh, two and three yeah but uh this is just sort of how i did this whole little scene here for you guys just a quick little thing and uh and of course jump basic fight uh make sure you want to have that at the end of each one so that it will go to the right spot i believe i think i still have to do it for each one not just there but uh i think i'll figure that out eventually but uh yeah, so this kind of makes it a little fun way of doing things. Um, again, like I said, if you're making like a serious game for the public to play, you might want to have like a, a better system for this. Um, this isn't really part of what I'm trying to teach you guys here. That's why I'm speeding through it really fast because you don't really need this stuff per se. 
I just wanted to have some writing so it would actually make it interesting if you were like to show you guys how the bars work. That's all I'm really doing in this video here is to show you guys how to make and create these bars and uh, and yeah so I'm just typing out something real quick just to have something so if you run away then I got something for if you run away, which I don't think I show in any of my videos here. And jump to more testing. And so for future stuff, we'll have that. And then of course the you lose, if you lose. And then a you win, for you win. And boom, there we go. But to get rid of the bars, it's the same type of thing as like when you're showing a picture. Just say, uh, hide screen bars. And go hide screen bars. I hope that this all makes sense. So, as you guys could see, like I said, you have the minus. Remember to put in the minus. You got your value from here. You put it here. Minus 25. Whatever you want to have the minus be if they get it. If they don't. Um, the, like I said, if you guys want to know more about, uh, random events, or not random events, but, like, random things happening, um, I guess it's sort of like a random event, uh, I have a video about that, I will put a little link up in the top corner for you now, if you guys want to check that out, and, uh, but yeah, other than that, I hope that this makes sense, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask, yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video, whatever it may be. I will be getting back into the King's Quest stuff again uh, in the future, so keep watch for that. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. And then, of course, they don't fix my toilet. <laughs>